Who said it would be easy, folks? 24-21. Indiana State leads by three. Waste the snap. Chest high. Five-step drop. Rolls near side. Control Moss pressures him. They throw it down the field. Denzel Bonner bats it down. It's over. It's over. Indiana State has done it. Indiana State wins in Carbondale. And for the first time in 14 tries, Indiana State wins a Missouri Valley football conference ball game. Victory for the Sycamores in Carbondale, Illinois, which makes for a very happy Kurt Mallory show this week. But on to the next one against the Youngstown State Penguins. Great to have you with us, everybody. I am Luke Martin alongside head coach Kurt Mallory. Coach, like I said, great win on Saturday in Carbondale, Illinois. But I know for you guys, the mindset, too, is it is on to the next one because you don't get much time to celebrate in this league. Well, we enjoyed it, uh, the bus ride home. But it, like you said, it was, it was on to the next game, and that's what we did yesterday. I know it probably got a little bit too close for comfort late against SIU, but knowing it did get too close for comfort, how did you like how your team responded in finding a way to win a close one? Well, finding a way, uh, certainly, uh, we're, we're proud of. Uh, we could have put things away, you know, with a first down offensively, and uh, I didn't get that done. Uh, wanted to make some plays, not let them drive down the field. Uh, but there were a lot of good things in there. Uh, recovering the onside kick, uh, obviously, for, you know, adding pressure at the end of the game uh, to secure the win. You've talked about it before, so I'm not asking you something totally out of left field. How big of a smile would your dad have knowing how well you've been able to run the football this year? <laughs> well, I think, you know, that's, that's who we are. Um, we want to be able to run the football. Um, but we've been able to throw the football, too. Uh, we've got a quarterback, and my receiver is very capable of doing that. Uh, but to be balanced, you got to start with running the football, and that's what we've been able to do. Throwing the football, I still think us offensively this year in the league is 10th throwing the football in the league. I don't think that number, though, really speaks to the confidence you guys have in this passing game. Why is it necessarily the numbers may not necessarily point to it, but you guys know when you got to throw the football and have guys come up with big catches, I think you feel pretty good about the guys you have. And we've had guys stepping up, too. Um, you know, we've lost a couple of key guys to injury, you know, like most people have, um, but at that position. Uh, what you've seen is you've seen uh, guys stepping up. Um, we had Zach Larkin hurt early. We've, we've, gained, we've gained him back, um, and obviously his role's increased. Um, but we're real uh, pleased with our depth there and how guys have stepped up. You mentioned Zach Larkin, but the importance and growth of a guy who necessarily doesn't get a lot of receptions or a lot of stats is a Tynum Williams. How has he grown this year in a role? You got him out there, started early, saw a little bit of Henry Woodcock early too, another freshman but you've really been able to turn the reins over to Zach that he's back, but also when you need Tynan out there, he's been a name you've been able to throw. You know, Tynan uh, has been a young man that we read shirt a year ago. Um, he's really grown, he's matured, he's got a lot of football ahead of him. Um, so we've been really pleased with uh, his role. Um, he's really come on and we, we just expect him to get better and better. Running the football, like we mentioned, has been such a big success this year. Ryan and Jaquan, both over 100 yards on Saturday against SIU but also able to see guys like Big Tuna able to get downfield and be able to make blocks down the field. How much of this running game do you feel just continues to click and, and why they continue to click? Up front, it all starts up front. Um, we've got a group uh, that has really come together. Um, they've been together. Uh, they played all last year together. They've really worked hard in the off season. Uh, we've added two guys, but you know, for the most part, the other guys have, have, have been experienced. So. Um, they're really starting to mesh, they're coming together, they're opening up some big holes, and of course when Keyes gets the ball, he's making some, some things really happen. Uh, so that run game has really, really been a strength for us. Let's move on to the opponent this weekend now in Youngstown State. I think many people in this league wrote them off when they lost to Butler to start the year. Well, if they did, shame on them, because I think this is a Youngstown State team that's really starting to play their best football this year. Well, if you did, that's your first mistake. You never write this team off or this program off. Uh, got a winning tradition. Uh, football coach is uh, everywhere he's ever been is one. Uh, he's a winner. Uh, his team plays like that. They're a no-nonsense, tough, well-coached football program, and uh, that's game in and game out. And uh, that's what you're going to get with a coach Pelini football program. Why is it? It seems like whenever you play a Bo Pelini team, one of the top words I think that comes to mind to describe them as physical. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, you know you're going to see a tough 
uh, tough football players. And that's, that's Youngstown State. Um, uh, for as long as I can remember, uh, that's always been their M.O. And uh, with Coach Polaney at the helm, it's no different. Uh, and he's, uh, he's been like that. That's the way he is. And uh, I've got a, a ton of respect for Coach and how he does things. And uh, he, he's one of the, uh, one of the many uh, good, no-nonsense coaches we don't have enough of in our, in our uh, profession. They never really change each week. I know sometimes the fans may think, man, Luke Martin and Coach Mallory sound like broken records, but in order to get a win against Youngstown State, what do you think will be the main point of emphasis with your club, uh, specifically just with this opponent and being able to do it on the road? Well, you know, obviously doing the things we do good, but doing them better. Um, you know, we've been a swarming defense, uh, guys meeting at the football. Uh, we've got two uh, young men that are one and two in the conference leading tacklers. We have a safety who's leading the conference and fumble recovers and you don't just ha that just doesn't happen without running to the football and swarming the ball uh, we're leading the conference and running the football we got to continue to do that and do it better um, but when we do those things and continue to do better amongst other things if we can do that then uh, we can get a victory coach appreciate the time let's get another one this week all right thank you once again it was head coach Kurt Mallory for more on Indiana State football stay right here at go sycamores.com <laughs>